Hi everybody. Um, this is the first video I've done since poor strips did not work for my blackheads. Well, they worked, but they ripped my skin off. <laughs> um, I used them as directed. I even wetted it down when this side, because I took it off left to right, uh, this side tore and I wetted it down and took it off hoping that it wouldn't keep doing it, but apparently my nose is never going to be friends with pore strips. So I'm going to have to find some sort of mask or something to do that next time. Um, this is one of my new wigs. Super long. I'm loving it. Uh, I went from pretty much no hair to to this, <laughs> so yay! And it doesn't hurt my skull nearly as bad as my actual hair does. I think it has something to do with the follicles and my uh, occipital nerve and all that, all that fun stuff. But um, I'm here to talk a little bit about my nerve damage and bone damage that I got from getting clipped by a car three years ago, as of September 4th. So. Let's talk about it. Um, my neck, my collarbone, my lower back were all damaged. Um, I think I've had neck issues since before this happened, but the only person that can tell me that for sure is my ex. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, he did mention it. Uh, before he was my ex, and um, he said that I also had lower back problems. But I have degenerative disc disease between my T, I'm trying to remember here, I don't have it in front of my face, I don't have my medical binder, um, I think it's my T9 through S2 are all trying to degenerate. Um, they're not doing too bad so far, but um, they might get worse as I age, if I can't lose some weight. Um, polycystic ovarian syndrome is actually why one of the reasons why I have gained weight quicker than I should have, and from being inactive, after my brain injury, which makes sense because I was too dizzy to do much. I don't have my teeth in, so I'm lisping, lisping a lot. Um, so yeah, uh, there's actually seven vertebrae in your neck, but there's eight uh, nerve points, which is strange because that's the only part of your back that has more nerve points than vertebrae. So from the base of my skull, to the C1 through C4, I think, <laughs> C4, <laughs> are um, the most damage in my neck. So, um, of course, if the top of your spine is damaged, it's going to affect everything below it. So, the bones and the nerves are damaged up there, and the bones at the base of my spine are damaged, which causes pressure onto my lower spine nerves. So that's, when I say I'm in nerve pain, that it's like from head to toe, <laughs> like I, I don't, it's not an exaggeration when I say I'm hurting all over. Not to mention the fibromyalgia, which is also a nerve damage um, disease and a connective tissue disease. So, uh, anybody who has MS or knows somebody with MS knows what a connective tissue disease is, but fibromyalgia is a little different because it's not as debilitating, well, it's debilitating, but it's not as debilitating, obviously, as MS. So, they're in the same family of disease. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, that's, that's most of the nerve and bone issues besides hips and knees and 
ankles and stuff that got twisted and, and, you know, they didn't break, but they, um, they were damaged. So, I have a lot of damage. I'm a, a very slow healer, apparently, when it comes to bones. And, um, the collarbone is this side, because I, I, I twisted, no, I twisted, uh, clockwise and fell on the left side backwards. So that's that's how I fell. And um, that's why it hurts so much. <laughs> but this took a while to heal because when you breathe it moves. You can't keep it still unless you have like a whole whole brace for the entire top half of your body, which you can't really do unless you're like, you know, tied to a bed. Um, <laughs> so that didn't heal very well. I have scar tissue there, but it doesn't hurt, so that's kind of cool. Um, the rest of it, though, I just wanted to explain where they're at and why, why they affect me so much, like, so much of my body all the time. Um, the last few days have been really bad. <laughs> uh, I really pushed myself doing all this yard work. I pulled up stepping stones. I've done a lot of digging. I've done a ton of bending, which really hurts the lower back and the upper back, my neck, and um, upper lumbar have... Uh, <laughs> they're just screaming. My... my my body is mad at me right now because I pushed it a little too far, a little too fast. I've I have plenty of time to get everything done, but I I started off so gung ho and I was feeling good and I was like, yes, I'm getting everything done. And now I'm like, oh crud, maybe <laughs> maybe maybe I should have spread this out a, a little bit longer. Ugh. But anyway, so I've gotten a lot done, but I have to take a few days off. I yesterday it really hit me. Today's been kind of one of those days where everything's shaky and hurts and got to lay low for another couple of days. So I think Monday I will be back at it slowly <laughs> and uh, see how much I can get done. Plus the weather's going to be a lot nicer. It's sunshiny and beautiful right now, but it rained its gourd off for the last couple of days. So, I don't know. Uh, that's it for now. I hope you, I hope you like my new do. Um, I'm loving it. It's so much better than being no-haired. <laughs> Alright, I will talk to you guys later. I'm sending love and light and healing and hope across the entire world. Um, I love you guys. Keep hope alive. And never give up. Ever. Ever. Okay. Talk to you later.